Thank you, Kentucky, everyone. Over here at Laura's Lean Beef headquarters, and we're talking burgers and how to make the perfect burger. This is Brian. This is our celebrity chef here who's going to be helping us out on how to create the perfect burger. How are you, my friend? Doing good. Welcome to Midday Kentucky. Thank you. Okay, so talk to us about your partnership with the Cincinnati Reds and why it's all about burgers. So this year we decided to um, work with the Cincinnati Reds and sponsor the uh, Centerfield Bullpen Decks. So yeah. when you go to the Great American Ballpark, you'll see the Lars Lean Beef Bullpen Decks from okay. the home base area. Um, we're also ha we also have um, a sandwich called uh, the Lars Lean Beef Bon Me Sandwich, which is available at the Tappanyaki Grill. Okay. Um, and then we have the burger that we're getting ready to make today. It's called the uh, Gusher Burger, the and it's available at Scouts Alley. The Gusher Burger, that is the burger that you're going to be able to have. What's the key component when it comes to the Gusher Burger? Cheddar. Lots and lots of cheddar. And, of course, Laura's Lean Beef. Yes. You've yes, got to have the Laura's Lean Beef. Absolutely. Why is Laura's Lean Beef the choice that people are making nowadays? Um, a lot of people are really paying a lot of attention to their diets these days, yeah. and Lara's is a health-conscious option. You're looking at a leaner beef that has less fat. Our 92% is available locally, um, yeah. and then we also have a 96% that's even leaner if you'd like to go wow. even healthier. Okay, so what's the name of this burger? Um, this is the Gusher Burger. The Gusher Burger. So where do we start to begin with? Um, the first thing you're going to add is some Montreal I'm going to let you get okay. in there. Or do you want me uh, to do that? If you, it's up to you. No. <laughs> I'm going to let you. You mush around. So you mix in some Montreal seasoning just to give it some more flavor, a little yeah. bit of salt and pepper to taste. And I'm uh -huh. just going to put a little bit in here. And then you really want to get in there and make sure that it gets good and mixed. Okay. Right? Yeah. So you mix it in. And then what you do next is you're going to patty that out. That's pretty simple. Oh, yeah. And and you, even I could do this, Brian. Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. Now, the hard part comes with the patties because you have to make them ultra thin because you're getting ready to stuff it full of cheddar. So oh. you have a top and a bottom patty, right? Okay. And if you'll just hand me All right, that right so there. We've already done some to begin with. Mm -hmm. So if um, when you patty these out, make sure you make them ultra thin. Yeah. So what you end up doing is you take about one slice of cheddar and cut it up into four cubes. Yeah. You're going to place that in the middle, right? And then you're going to place one patty on top. So it's like a sandwich. Yeah, you're creating a burger sandwich with cheddar in the middle. Oh and my gosh. And you're going to smash those edges together. So like that, a pastry? Yes. So that <laughs> Do you like how I'm incorporating all the <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, so that nothing melts on the exterior. And then once that's done, you're going to throw it on the, uh, in a very hot, heavy pan. So in the background, we have yeah. a, um, a skillet ready. Yeah, you like the skillet. It's a oh, nice, yeah. big, heavy skillet. Yes. Perfect. And about medium heat and let that cook for about four minutes on each side. And you want to check and make sure that it's, uh, the cheese is melted on the interior and that okay. you're meeting the right temperature. All right. Okay. Um, I want to ask you. Cheddar, that's it? Cheddar, that's it that's on the it. interior. That's that it. That is so simple, I could even make that myself. Well, Magic and TV people, there it is. And then we have finished. Mm -hmm. This is the next. This is the uh, Don't so we need bread rolls? Yes. Okay. So this one calls for a sesame bun. A sesame bun. So what you do is yeah. um, it's already got the melted cheese on the interior. We've melted and, cheese on top of it. And this. I was going to say, you've put more on top, right? Yes. And, and, and if you want to go for a healthier option here, what I always recommend is that this is our 92% ground beef. You can always switch to the 96 to make it leaner. You can always switch to a low-fat um, cheddar cheese to make yeah. it uh, leaner as well. So you can Can I just say fat. something, Brian? Yes. Listen. You've already got the 92% <laughs> fat-free beef. Yes. We've loaded it up with the cheese. Let's not skimp on a few percent. Okay. okay. Okay, let's just keep it as it is. Sure, sure. Okay, <laughs> what's the next step, my friend? Okay, so you um, just want to fix your burger. And you can choose any topping that you like here. Yeah. So a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of tomato. I like red onion when I'm making oh, my yeah, burgers. Oh, yeah, I love that. What do you call I call that Spanish onion. I call it red onion. Okay, I got you. I got you. <laughs> um, and then you're going to put your own toppings on it. If you want to add mayo, yeah. if you want to add ketchup. And I've got to have the ketchup. And, and then I love good. the ketchup. Then I like to throw in a side of sweet potato fries. We like all of that. Perfect. Um, and that's it. You're good to go for that's your That's pretty simple. Yeah. And no this problem. is the Gusher Burger that is going to be available out of the field. Sure. They have a, a little bit of a twist on it where they actually use a burger sauce from yeah. their side. But other than that, this is the exact burger. This is pretty simple, everyone. Mm -hmm. If you would get this recipe, head over to wtvq.com forward slash Midday Kentucky. All the information will be there. Brian, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And should I be saying go Cincinnati Reds? Yes. I should be saying that. Well, you can say go Reds. Go Reds, that's it. Well, go Reds, people. Back after this short break.